So yeah, here we are with episode 12 of Summertime Rendering and yeah, last episode was super confusing. This is pretty much right after I watched episode 11, so I'm still not any smarter by now. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess we will see if maybe this episode will maybe give us some answers or not, right? So yeah, will be interesting, I guess. If you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment, let me know what you think and I would say let's get to the episode. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hein is she. So she's Shiro, Shiori. Interesting. So she is actually doing something. And not just sitting there. the hands okay so that's very interesting so she's not just sitting there the whole time and lets others do the work she's actually doing stuff <coughs> so she was the one that the big shadow protected when negomo tried to kill her okay okay but why did they say at the, at the, at the festival Mother awakes, something like that. Something about mother awakes. I guess the mother was she, her, that. And I, I thought they did, did the whole massacre at the festival to feed her more people, basically to give her power to awaken. But she's around the whole time. That's. Confusing still a bit. Hmm. <clears throat> but the big shadow that protected her last episode was also around for like 14 years. I thought the big shadow was Heine. That is Nigoro. Is she also a shadow?
Oh my god. Wow. So Shiori was supposed to be the dead one. Oh. Yeah, die you little bitch. What? Because she's a shadow? <clears throat> wow, his mother is a shadow too? So that was the one in the wheelchair. But there's the other shadow, right? <clears throat> now she can recover, I guess. Shut the fuck up. I'm confused. How could the nail gun have ammunition? I, I thought you could just copy it, but not with the ammunition and shit. What the fuck? Damn. 
<laughs> the animation, bro. <laughs> but I don't think they will get away, right? You will die. There will be another reset. Yep, his fingers are gone. And he has Mio. You can have her. Okay. Why are some important and some are not? So maybe just as hostage, as leverage. We just used you, haha. <laughs> Oh, why is he going along with it then, when he knows that everyone is dying? What? So how is he fine, but got separated from Mio? Is it maybe a shadow? But why would he act like this and not just kill her? Because the shadow would know that she is, should be killed or something, right? And that's what he copied. Not the hospital, that's enemies. Headshot. Yeah, that's quite different from the night when we had the festival, right?
and the eye. So does he need the eye to return time thingy? If yes, then well. Oh, how handy. So at some point he could So basically he could completely control time consciously Maybe he learns to control it now, maybe. <clears throat> oh, Sam. Did he drop in or what? <laughs> Is this effective against him? Kill him. <laughs> Do it. Kill him. I mean, couldn't Shinpei just bite off his tongue and bleed out or some shit like that? Just kill himself? Oh! Drink some poison shit. <laughs> Good thinking. Well, better this. And some shitty reality, right? Nah, this is the first time, bitch. <laughs> So where will he respawn now? How far? We still don't know what the mark is all about.
Oh! Oh, she's really evolved. Oh, she's corrupting her. Uh -huh. He Shinpei took it with her? <laughs> so she will remember. Are there now two Ushios? We can make it right. Dude, imagine, imagine there are two Ushios now. <laughs> but where do they pop out? Oh, here. So far ahead. And <clears throat> the mark on his arm is still around. I just came from one. <laughs> this is getting crazy. <laughs> okay. That was the episode. Let me know what you think. I rewatched the whole episode basically, skipped around a bit, bit obviously, and wrote down everything that seems important to me. <laughs> so <laughs> here we go. So Heine is the copy of Hiruko, Hiruko, who was the goddess of Hitogashima, which I think might be the island. I guess it was Hiruko, uh, Hiruko no Mikoto. So. The first thing the shadow copied was basically the goddess, the god of this island, I think, uh, which is Hiroko. <clears throat> and that's this child, right? The form. So that's not her true form, basically. And then Negoro, who was a nurse, is also a shadow, which I assumed so far, right? Um, <clears throat> and then obviously the hospital is feeding the dead people to Heine to keep her fed obviously because otherwise she gets she she needs it to survive which is interesting i mean they said earlier that that's how they feed right they feed on people by like dissolving them by like copying them and shit um and then the mother of so a sue so and tokito is shadow which we already saw when we when the festival happened, right? We saw the professor in his house or whatever, and then a shadow in the wheelchair. So we just didn't know who the person in the wheelchair was, and if the doctor knew if it's a shadow or not, right? But now we know it was a mother, and she he knows that she's a shadow, and he knows what they are doing, which is very confusing that he knows exactly what they are doing and what their plan is. That their plan is basically to kill everyone. So why is he going along? I mean, Tokito said that the plan or the deal was originally that they feed at the festival the last time, then Heine is completely recovered and fixes her mother completely, like revives her mother, and that they won't touch Mio, right? But yeah, now they revealed like, yeah, you helped us, but yeah, now it's over, we just kill every one of you, we don't care. And apparently the father knows that, and so it's just confusing that he knows that they will die, and he's like, okay, yeah, that's fine, right? That seems kind of dumb, if you ask me. And Tokito just went along because they said that they would revive the mother and wouldn't harm Mio. And what I'm wondering about is, why is Mio so important? Because when we got to the island, we had the Ushio, and she said, save Mio, right? And now we have Tokito, who said that, who wants to protect Mio. And then we had this big shadow coming around and having Mio, and he said she is an important hostage, which is super confusing because moments later he just kills her, right? So, eh? Confusing again.
She's important. Yeah, let's just kill her. Maybe he did it because everyone there was pretty much dead. And <clears throat> he did it to torment uh, Shinpei, basically, right? Put him into despair, basically. And yeah. So, yeah, why is Mio? So, it seems like Mio is very important so far. And then, also very interesting, you can't take away the eye from Shinpei. Which is very important, because I would imagine that the eye was originally hers, right? From what it sounds like. Heine had the eye before, and they took it away from her. So, now Shinpei has it, and they can't take it away from Shinpei when originally Heine had it, right? So, why does it belong to him now and not the other way around? Why can't, why didn't it return to Heine? Maybe because it wasn't originally hers, because she's just a copy, maybe? Um, so that's very important. Or maybe it has something to do with the whole time travel aspect? I don't know. Maybe we get some, get some information about that. Because right now it's a bit confusing why it happens. Like, yeah, I just said it, basically. If it, is, it, is it because Heine is just a shadow and not the real one? Or why? Right? So I guess we maybe get some information about that. And yeah, it seems like Ushio is evolving, right? <clears throat> she gets stronger and stronger. And can beat shadows that she apparently isn't supposed to beat. Right? The Negoro shadow. She wasn't supposed to beat her, but she did it. And the corrosion that Heine wants to put on Ushio to take control of her, she reversed that back to Heine. So it seems like that by now Ushio has a potential or maybe is stronger than Heine. And since they traveled back in time and Ushio is still around, does that mean that she still has this the strength? That she keeps everything. So that would mean that by now she should be stronger than Heine. Maybe. Maybe just in the sense that she can turn around the corrosion but not maybe beat her. I guess she's maybe not that powerful but I get, guess she can get stronger still. So yeah. She has definitely the potential is what we get here right now I guess. And now that Ushio is back in time. Does that mean that there are two Ushios? One that came from the future, basically, uh, and one that is around on the island. <clears throat> if that's the case, that would mean we have two Ushio shadows right now, and they both have the potential to get stronger than Heine. Because if one Ushio has the potential, the other one has the potential too. Or maybe, the, or maybe because only one shadow can exist at a time, the Ushio from the past got, like, erased from the future one, maybe. Right? Um, yeah, we have to see what that's about. And... Yeah, Shinpei has the potential to, I guess, control time, if he learns how to. But maybe he can't really, because it's so sudden, right? And he has, like, no time to learn, really. Um, so... Yeah, but maybe he will unlock it at some point, but, but I think that would be kind of crazy, because then, then I'm wondering, can he jump back at any point in time? Like, now when he dies, he just jumps ahead, right? He goes along the timeline and gets a bit further ahead every time he dies. He doesn't spawn at the ship anymore. So, could, if he could control it, could he go back to the ship? I guess he could, right? If he could control it. Hmm. Um, so, yeah. Lots of stuff happened, interesting stuff. We have potential in our characters, like Shinpei time travel, basically, that he could control it, and Ushio to beat Heine, maybe, and evolve and become, like, the biggest and best shadow, basically, that is around. And so, yeah, now it's the question how they will go from here, because now they have, like, lots of information, like, what is going on behind the scenes, who is what, who's working with what, who knows what, right? We know what the Doctor is doing, that he knows about the Shadows and everything. We know that Tokyo, uh, Tokito knows and all that stuff. So, yeah, it will be interesting to see where we are going from here now and how we progress, right? And if there will be more death and time skips or not, or if we can maybe go from here and finish everything up. 
I guess there will be at least one more death, right? I mean, we are like halfway through. Would be crazy if we don't have like no more deaths. So we will see what crazy shit is happening from here on out, right? But yeah, that's the episode. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.